Hey guys, it's Joe for Gaming Curious, and today we're going to take a look at the 6 best dual agent combos in Valorant. These combos will make you and your friends perform pushes or retakes in a way the highest ranking players are doing it, by squeezing every last drop of advantage they can get from their team or party composition. Having said that, let's go take a look at the 6 best dual agent combos in Valorant. We will begin by addressing an agent that combos pretty well with a lot of other agents while playing defense. This agent is Sage, and the way she can combo with other agents is with her slowing orb. And what combo are we talking about? Pretty much any agent with a damaging AoE ability, like Raze, Phoenix, Brimstone or even Viper, where you can throw both the slowing orb and the damaging AoE ability at the same exact time when you know the enemy team is committing a push on some choke point. If timed and thrown correctly, this will cause the pushing team to be slowed by Sage and then getting some pretty significant damage depending on the damaging agent you picked. This combo most likely won't get you a kill, but will make the enemy team pretty weak, making it easier for you and your team to finish them off. This can also work whenever they are planting the spike, making it, it a bit easier to play retake after the spike has been planted. The biggest strength of this combo is that it is not a one-trick pony, you still got a wide arsenal to use before and after you commit to this play. Our next combo also leverages Sage, but this time not her slowing orb, but her wall, and this combo is with Phoenix. This is a combo I like quite a lot, in general the way you can play with Sage and Phoenix is quite unique, but the specific combo we will talk about is the one with Sage's wall and Phoenix flash. This is a way you can gain a better position for your Phoenix to flash in a better place, and the awesome thing with this is that the flash can be thrown from the sides or it can be thrown from above or below the wall, depending on the wall's placement of course. And as with the last combo, this is not a one-trick pony, and it is pretty good on attack or defense, and the good thing about having a Sage and a Phoenix together, is that it really allows the Phoenix to push in a really aggressive way, and not be punished as hard by getting lit by the enemy team, since Phoenix can heal quite a bit by himself, and then he can get healed again by the Sage making him a pretty strong ally of Sage. The coming combo is something that your team will actually appreciate even if it works or not. We're talking about the combo that can be done with Cypher and Sova. This duo brings a lot of vision to the team and probably one of the best defense and retake duos there is in the game. But there is a specific combo that can be performed with this duo and that can be performed in more than one way. And it is aiding Sova on landing as many hits with his ult as possible. Cypher has three abilities that can aid with that, be it a tripwire catching an enemy, or your camera tagging an enemy, or just in general spawning out enemies with the camera. And of course Cypher's ultimate ability, that is probably the worst of these three for this specific purpose, but it can aid nevertheless. Picking this duo is never going to be frowned upon, so don't be afraid to pick this agent combo and you might be surprised at how fun it is to play them. Even if they are not as flashy as some other entry fraggers in the game, this duo will prove to be pretty fun to play with. We got another combo lined up for Cypher, and it is one with Omen. Omen is a pretty fun agent to play with, but his abilities sometimes are kind of underwhelming. But there is a way to aid him in pretty much any time with Cypher, but Cypher can aid Omen specifically while using his ultimate, by giving him the best possible place for Omen to ult to. This may sound kind of underwhelming, but being able to ult inside of the enemy lines without being spotted right away has proven to be super useful, especially when the enemy team will most likely be looking for you behind them or some other obvious place in the map. And Omen also brings some aid to Cypher by helping conceal the tripwires when the enemy team is pushing through them, be it by landing paranoia or smoking them, so this is not a one-way kind of duo, this is actually a mutual duo that can perform some pretty good combos, 
in the game while hiding the tripwires or helping Omen place his ult in the right way. This next combo also involves Omen, but this time we will be comboing Omen with Brimstone. And you may be asking how or why when there is no obvious synergy between them, but that is exactly why this combo is worth trying. Because as you may already know, you can conceal your shrouded step as Omen with your own smokes, and this is kind of widely known in Valorant, but you can do pretty much the same with Brimstone smokes, but even in a more aggressive way, and some places that the enemy might not even know there is an Omen at, which is the biggest strength of this combo, hiding Omen's position to the enemy team as much as possible, because giving the least amount of information to the enemy team will make the rotations slower and be more wary about their surroundings if they are not sure of the position of all the enemy agents. And let's not forget that this doesn't mean having visual confirmation of the agent, but even some abilities confirm the presence of an agent in the area, like could be an uh, omen smoke that could pretty much sell off the presence of the omen in a site. So this is why this combo is so strong. The last combo we will be covering in this video is my favorite one, and it is a combo done with Cypher and Bridge. For this combo to have the best result possible, you don't need a really good Bridge player, but you really need a pretty good Cypher player. Ideally, you want to play this duo together in the same side, because there is some pretty serious synergy between Cypher's Tripwires and Bridge's Flashpoint and even with Aftershock. The tripwire and also a well-placed camera from Cypher will allow Bridge to use his abilities at the best time possible, be it when an enemy is struggling with a tripwire or is not aware of the camera knowing of his position, giving the Bridge the best timing possible to flash the enemy team or even get a kill with Aftershock in the safest and most consistent way possible. This combo is heavily oriented towards the fans but may also transition while defending a planted spike in a pretty easy way. This is to my eyes one of the strongest combos in this listing, and even one of the flashiest. And as with all of the other ones, this is not a one trick pony, so you can be confident on trying this and adapt to the game depending on how it unfolds. So this was the 6 best duo agent combos in Valorant. We hope you have some fun trying this out with your friends, and don't be afraid of using them more than one in a game, if you have enough friends to play with and coordinate them. You will see that these guidelines will help you use your team agents to their full potential, and you will be having more fun this way than just trying to out-aim the enemy team. If you think we missed an agent combo, let us know in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our coming videos. This was Joe for Gaming Curious.